What's happening guys, it's Badna Akbar for iGyan.in and it's exclusive unboxing time, it's the Funbook Pro 8GB version just recently announced, it's actually not been announced, it's just shown up online everywhere, it's a 9990 rupee tablet that's got Android ice cream sandwich, a 10.1 inch widescreen display and it's got a 1.2 gigahertz uh, Cortex A8 processor with dual Mali GPU. So it's got dual GPUs, a single 1.2 gigahertz processor, Android ice cream sandwich and uh, tons of other features. Uh, packaging is not final. This is not the final box that you'll see in the retail market. As you can see, it has no labels or anything. Uh, but this is our exclusive unboxing for you guys. Uh, you can see details on the back. It's got a 25.7 inch capacitive touchscreen display. That's about 10.1 inches diagonally. Uh, it's multi-touch. I don't know how many touch points, but at least four, that's for sure. Uh, it comes uh, with eight gigabyte of inbuilt storage, one gigabyte of RAM, and 32 gigabyte expandability. Now, the interesting bit is that it's got a 5600 milliampere hour battery pack. So that should be much more uh, than uh, the fun book original. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get everything out of the box. Uh, this is the fun book pro. I'm gonna put that aside. You get a warranty card. I'm gonna put that aside. You get some stickers. I'm gonna put those aside. Support numbers. So now Micromax has a consolidated 1-800 number helpline. That's really nice. They have a toll free number for you guys. So you can get that. Now you have the Tata Photon Plus dongle details. How do you get your dongle? How to claim your free dongle? You have to call them up and buy your dongle. Uh, you also get the Funbook Pro user guide. Interesting full color user guide. High quality. Micromax's uh, box content quality has gone up considerably. Uh, they also have this charger. I don't know why they can't do something about the chargers. Uh, it's a thin pin system, almost proprietary Nokia style uh, charger. Uh, but I believe the device can also charge via micro USB. And it has some interesting features I'll show you guys. Uh, this is a micro USB to USB female host connector for your uh, USB dongles. And then you have the standard USB to micro USB data syncing cable, which is also a charging cable. So that's everything from the box. Uh, you can claim your Tata Photon uh, USB dongle by going uh, to a Tata Photon store. You need to give them a copy of your purchase and you get a free dongle. It's as easy as that. I'm gonna get rid of everything here that I do not need. And I'm gonna show you the tablet itself. So there you go guys, yeah, you can look at the Micromax Funbook up front over here. I'm gonna quickly get rid of this uh, disturbance from the way, uh, protection plastic that I do not need. And uh, you can see it has a nice and glossy front uh, display. It's a 10.1 inch display. In this corner over here, uh, you have uh, a front facing camera. Now this is a three megapixel camera is uh, what I believe, uh, but I don't have the full specs right now. So I'll check it out. I'll put it in the description below the specs of the camera. So the screen is a 10.1 inch capacitive multi touch screen display. And uh, you can see, uh, despite the fact that it has a thick bezel, it's quite a wide screen. So uh, the viewing for this is uh, really nice. It's 16 by nine screen. So you'll get widescreen uh, video on this. Uh, now the build quality of the tablet has improved quite a lot from the first generation. And the bezel seems to have a nicer quality of paint and a nicer finish across. Uh, so let's look at uh, some of the ports on uh, the Funbook Pro over here. Uh, this is the micro SD card slot, accepts up to 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD cards. You have the proprietary charging port, which is the thin pin port. You also have a microphone. I'm sorry, this is a reset button. Uh, apologies for that. You have dual micro USB uh, slots over here. So one is for data syncing. I'll put it like this. One is for data syncing and uh, one is for the USB host, which is going to be your USB dongle. And it can possibly take hard drives as well. Uh, then you have an HDMI out, so mini HDMI to full HDMI and uh, then a headphone jack which is over here. You also have the power lock and unlock button and on the side over here uh, you have uh, the back button which is this one and the volume rocker uh, which is over here. You have dual stereo speakers at the back, really interesting and somewhere, somewhere along the front bezel is a microphone which is not easy to spot, but this device does have an inbuilt microphone. So let's go ahead and power it on. Let's tap the power button and see if the device has any battery, full battery out of the box. So uh, it's also on the right time and the date. So that means it's been 
turned on. Uh, interesting lock screen over here, guys. Uh, as soon as I tap on the lock screen, I get lots of options. So I can jump to the camera, I can go to my contacts, I can go directly to Android Home, which is the standard home screen. And I can unlock it to where I was earlier. I can also go to Google Drive. So navigation into a 10 inch tablet. I need to set up my Google account with that. And uh, let's check it out. What else is here? Uh, we can go into Google search and we can directly jump into settings. We can possibly uh, turn around and uh, set this up. So let's see uh, if we can set up the lock screen over here. Maybe in security. Uh, no settings over there. Maybe it's somewhere else. I'll check it out. I'll come back with it. So uh, this is the uh, interface of Funbook Pro. It's identical to the Funbook, but you can see the display is much more vibrant compared to the original Funbook. Uh, I see a lot of color over here and very responsive touchscreen as well. And not as laggy as the Funbook was. Uh, somehow it seems really smooth, but that could be just because I've turned it on. Uh, going into the all apps folder, we have some apps that have been pre-installed. So you have a news reader app, so it's almost like newsstand or a book reader app, which has been pre-installed, Aldeco 2.0. Come back to the home screen. Uh, you have uh, some apps over here, so let's see what's in there. So you have Micromax App Store as well, pre-installed, so you need to set that up. Come back to the home screen. Uh, you have uh, Google Drive, which is pre-installed. Documents to go is pre-installed. E-learning, uh, the Micromax uh, learning app is pre-installed. You have some entertainment uh, apps over here. So that means that, again, I will need to set it up. So I'll show you all of this in a hands-on video, which will follow up soon. So again, we'll have some games and entertainment stuff over here. You also have this new uh, My SMS, which is almost like uh, Samsung's chat on Messenger. Now Micromax has come out with uh, their own messenger. It's called My SMS. So it's, uh, you need to set in your mobile number and you can start using it. Uh, so that's really interesting. Then you have the M store to download lots of applications from the Micromax mobile store. Uh, that's good. Uh, Google Latitude is pre-installed. HiQ MP3 recorder is pre-installed. So it's recording audio and uh, it's giving you a result and uh, you can now start recording audio and it's got a full-fledged microphone uh, just to demonstrate that we've got an audio recording over here so let's see how we can go into our recordings and let's play it back So uh, fairly decent uh, recording over there, uh, not a lot of noise. So that's that. Uh, you also have the full Google Play Store over here. What I'm going to do is going to quickly look at the browser. Now this does have ICS, so it will uh, be able to get a Google Chrome browser as well. So uh, no doubts over that. Let me just quickly connect uh, to Wi-Fi. So uh, while I was connecting to Wi-Fi, you can see that uh, really nice and wide uh, Android keyboard. You also have a full-fledged numeric keyboard, standard Android keyboard, no customizations over here, but a fairly decent Android keyboard. I'm um, just going to quickly connect to Wi-Fi. And uh, let's see if it can open up iGAN. Let's see how the performance is. I'm just going to let it load up the full website before I continue showing you. So as you can see, it's got kinetic scrolling over here and uh, it seems to be fairly responsive. Uh, the touchscreen is still a little sticky from uh, the residue of uh, the protection sticker, uh, but it is uh, the screen itself is pretty responsive and so is the browser. Uh, not as much as I would have liked to see on a 10 inch tablet with a multi touch screen. Possibly if I, once I am done wiping this screen, it'll perform a little better. I'll have a look, I'll show it to you guys in our hands-on video, which is gonna follow this video really soon. So that's uh, the browser. Let's see if it switches. It does switch into portrait, gives you a better view. So you'll be able to see scrolling is uh, really smooth, even in portrait mode. And uh, overall, uh, browser seems responsive. Pinch to zoom in also works. Again, it's not as smooth as I would like it to be, but it does work. 
there is some uh, lag. I'll I'll try and install Chrome on this and see how that performs on uh, this tablet. Let's quickly come out into the home screen and I'll quickly play a video on YouTube to see how streaming works on this. And just in case you guys didn't know, hi over there. Uh, just in case you guys didn't know, um, WTF episode seven just went up, so you can go check that out. So that's my sleepy episode of WTF. Uh, as you can see, viewing angles on the screen seem really nice uh, over here. Uh, on the sides, however, it's uh, starting to darken a little bit, but up and down viewing angles seem good. And uh, overall, uh, you can see how vivid the display is. It's really, really vivid. It looks really, really nice. Uh, quite impressive uh, from Micromax. They've come a long way from their original fun book, which was announced, uh, which was launched uh, just recently. So before I uh, conclude uh, this video, what I'm going to quickly do is uh, for you guys is uh, the one thing that I'm sure you guys are going to ask me to do. So I'm going to do it for you guys anyway. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put it right next to the original fun book. And I've got it in the leather case that I recently showed you guys. So I'm just going to get it out of that and show you what a big difference of screen uh, a 10.1 inch screen will make. It's almost a double the real estate when it comes to screen size. I'll put it right next to it like that and you'll be able to see the big difference uh, that a 10.1 inch screen would bring uh, to a tablet experience. Now the 7, point, uh, the seven inch uh, fun book did really well in the market. Uh, this one uh, I think is a better, much better device. You can see I can fit almost three uh, regular fun books in uh, the kind of size we have over here. So, so that's uh, the original fun book, but what really needs to be seen is the size is the size of the fun book uh, next to uh, the iPad. Now the iPad has a uh, doesn't have a wide screen uh, display, it has a wider display. So we have a 9.7 inch uh, diagonal display on the iPad. Uh, whereas uh, this one has a 10.1 inch display which is a widescreen display. Now you can see uh, that the iPad's display is squarish and is still a lot bigger when you compare it to this display which is thinner uh, yet longer so it appears to be larger in size. It's not made like this so a 10.1 inch display in this dimension would be much larger compared to the 10.1 display which is in a widescreen which is smaller. However, videos would look nicer on this and hopefully all the apps have been ported onto this and uh, are ready to be used. So there you go guys, this was a quick unboxing, quick hands-on video with a comparison with the iPad and the original FunBook uh, for the FunBook Pro. Uh, I hope you like this video guys, uh, give it a thumbs up. We are possibly the first ones with this video out. So for more unboxing videos, reviews and tutorials, log on to iGAN.in. If you have any questions or queries about the FunBook, uh, please uh, do leave them in the comment section below so that I can get them uh, sorted out in the initial hands-on video which is going to be coming out really really soon. So uh, get your questions on. You can also catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Uh, the links to those should be on the video right now or in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash igan, youtube.com slash igan tv. And for igan networks, this has been Bharat Nakwa. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video really really soon. Bye guys.